<laughs> wait, wait, that, yeah. wait, wait, we can cut this out. The artwork we chose to research and analyze is titled Portrait of Marevna by Mexican artist Diego Rivera. The subject is a woman who is seated and appears to be reading. I'm not starting over. <laughs> Through the angular shapes used to create Marev Marevna's face, Marevna's face when she just approves of the painting. Behind the subject, there is a representation of a window as depicted through the rectangle with linear divisions in its center in the background. Other than the inside of a house or some sort of structure, it's, it's difficult to discern where the subject is. The tone and colors used in the composition are relatively muted. However, contrast is created in certain areas like the bright yellow book and the fabric in Marevna's dress. Although the dress appears to be collaged fabric, it is actually a trompe l'oeil, French for optical illusion, done in oil paint to imitate a piece of fabric glued in. Overall, the abstract style is created by dividing the body with sharp crisp lines into clear geometric divisions that are large but precise. The three-dimensionality of Marevna's body is built by repeating her outline in what looks like shadows, most easily seen in the blue outline behind Marevna's main outline. Rivera's first wife in a long, illustrious romantic career was Angelina Beloff, uh, who was born in Russia on June 23, 1879 and later moved to Paris, France in 1909. She was a painter and engraver, but she was best known for being the first wife Diego Rivera would cheat on. The subject of the piece, Marevna, was the first mistress belonging to Rivera. Whilst betraying his marriage, Rivera had three children with Angelina Belloff, one of whom died at two years old. Eventually following the coincidental birth of Marevna's child two years later, the affair was ended. The affair between Marevna and Rivera was one endowed with mutual contempt, and he often referred to her as a she-devil. Rivera referring to Minerva Marevna as a she-devil reflects the blissful state of their relationship. This helps us understand why, in the painting, Marevna looks so dissatisfied and even annoyed. The portrait of Marevna also contains important biographical information in relation to Rivera's development as an artist. Although he was mostly known for his large murals, such as Man Controller of the Universe, he began his professional career emulating the style of the artists around him in Paris, such as Pablo Picasso. According to the National Gallery of Art, Rivera's Cubist works often added inventive New World subject matter and political context to classical ideas. For example, his 1915 work, Zapatista Landscape, adds items such as pistols and Mexican cloth, similar to the fabric found in Marevna, in with the mountains of a classical landscape, possibly implying Rivera's support for a socialist peasant's revolution in his homeland. This pro-socialist sentiment carried on beyond the Mexican Revolution of the time, into Rivera's later affiliation with the Mexican communists, and even Vladimir Lenin low-key creeping in his most major work's background. The portrait of Marevna allows viewers an insight into Rivera's evolution of style as he developed into the icon of Mexican nationalism, which he is historically seen as.